Hi everybody, welcome back. In this episode, I'm building an outdoor bench. I made this project this spring and it was for a customer. The tool shed project from before was in the same garden. I have plans for this bench on my website if you are interested. I used the same material as the fence for the bench. This is quite thick pressure treated spruce. So far I'm preparing the material for the legs. The pieces are beveled and getting that right is critical. You can see how deep the treatment goes into the wood on the green spots. Oh, and if you like this video, consider subscribing. After those were cut, they could be joined together. I used exterior glue and long screws. The bevels in the corner line up and the screws are then put in. The legs are of five pieces and the back piece also functions as a leg. And per bench there are two leg assemblies. Then I could cut the seats. First I cut them roughly to length with a circular saw and sort them. The seat also has two thinner boards and with the table saw they, it is easy to cut to it. Then I could cut the bevel of the seats with the miter saw. When the wood was cut, I could pre-fit the whole wood assembly. This helps getting the gaps in the components in the right position. To the underside of the long bench I attach some extra strips to stiffen the boards, they would flex otherwise too much. When the benches were assembled I could focus on the armrest and the corner rest. These frames are joined the same way as the legs, this was plenty strong. The pieces with the glue faces were smaller but it's still sufficient. The screw that I used for this project were coat screws. This is a sturdy coat of paint. I prefer this over stainless steel screws because the steel is still hard. Stainless screws are sometimes quite difficult to fasten because they are softer. Now to test the seat. The portions were quite nice and it was big enough to lay down on them. Right now I'm at the site 
and I could start uh, the actual assembly. To the bottom of the legs, I attach thick bolts to let the legs stand off from the ground. This bolt can be unscrewed with for uneven surfaces and keep the moisture from getting too much into the wood. After all the small parts were assembled, the bench was finished and I'm happy how it lands in with the fence and how it feels when you sit on it. Thanks for watching!